He is known for his absurdist topically pointed radio program, which made him one of the most popular and forward-looking humorists in the golden age of American radio. He is recognized for his long-running mock feud with fellow comedian Jack Benny and for being perhaps radio's most admired comedian. His name is Fred Allen. In the world of American radio, one name stands out as a true comedic genius, Fred Allen. Born John Florence Sullivan, Allen's wit and humor captivated audiences during the golden age of American radio. His popular radio program, The Fred Allen Show, pushed the boundaries of comedy with its absurdist and topical humor, making him one of the most beloved and forward-thinking humorists of his time. But Allen's appeal went beyond just his famous mock feud with fellow comedian Jack Benny. He was admired as radio's most talented comedian and often found himself at odds with network executives. Allen fearlessly used his platform to poke fun at these battles on the air, showcasing his sharp ad-libbing skills. His style and substance influenced a generation of comic talents, including Groucho Marx, Stan Freeberg, Henry Morgan, and Johnny Carson. Even President Franklin D. Roosevelt was a fan of Allen's comedic genius. Despite his success on the radio, Allen's talent was not limited to the airwaves. He made his mark in television as well and was honored with stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for his contributions to both television and radio. Allen's impact on the world of comedy is immeasurable, with his humor inspiring the likes of humorist James Thurber and novelists William Faulkner, John Steinbeck, and Herman Woke. John, or as he would later be known, Fred Allen, had a challenging start to his childhood. Born in Cambridge, Massachusetts, he lost his mother at a tender age of three to pneumonia. His father, James, was deeply affected by this tragedy and turned to heavy drinking to cope with his grief. This left young Alan with his Aunt Lizzie, who became his primary caregiver. Despite the hardships, Alan found solace and stability with his aunt. Lizzie welcomed him into her home, along with his infant brother Robert, and provided them with the love and care they needed. In his memoir, Much Ado About Me, Alan fondly recalls the first chapter dedicated to his Aunt Lizzie, highlighting the profound impact she had on his life. Lizzie's own life was not without challenges. Her husband, Michael, suffered from lead poisoning shortly after their marriage, which left him partially paralyzed and unable to work. This caused tension among Lizzie's sisters, but she remained steadfast in her commitment to caring for Alan and his brother. When Alan's father remarried, he gave his sons a choice, to join him and his new wife or to stay with Aunt Lizzie. While his younger brother decided to go with their father, Alan made the difficult decision to remain with his beloved aunt. Looking back, he never regretted his choice, as he found a sense of belonging and stability in Lizzie's home. Despite the early loss of his mother and the challenges he faced, Alan's childhood was shaped by the love and support of his Aunt Lizzie. Her unwavering care provided him with a foundation of resilience and strength that would guide him throughout his life. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.